There's a lot of stuff I'd like to say about the grand relaunch. There's a lot of people I'd like to thank. Uh, but before any of that, it gives me great pleasure to welcome our special celebrity guests for today's event. Uh, it's a couple of famous faces that I'm sure we all remember uh, from quite a few years ago. Uh, so please, give it up for TV's Greg and Pat. Patrick and I have been passionate supporters of arts initiatives for young people since the very early days of our partnership. Boy, oi, 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 oi. Patrick, please. Oh, looks like somebody got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> We're therefore very excited and honoured to be officiating the grand relaunch of the Breaker Leg Youth Theatre. Doing a custom sketch. Yeah. Did somebody say custard? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't do any more work with them. Not if it's all going to be at that sort of level. I'm sorry, Greg, but you're not doing much to create work for yourself, are you? You know, if you don't fight for it, then nobody's going to want the two of you. You never get any offers for just me? Not for just Patrick. People are only interested in seeing the two of you together. Not one offer? Look, you forget you were only ever in the public eye as a duo. So you can't get me anything at all? I didn't say... Did I say I can't get you anything? No. Exactly. Thank you. I can get you something. It's, you know, it's just going to be a long road up to the top again. There's open mic night in Tooting I can I'll get you on to. I could probably get myself a spot at an open mic night. Well, if you don't want me to send the email. No, do. Do. In the meantime, you're going to have to get a proper job. We're not going to be able to launch you as a solo act just, you know, like that. What sort of job? I don't know. Dress up as a chicken. And flies out for a chicken shop. I'm not doing that. Isn't there a whole thing about I should be kept in the manner to which I'm accustomed? This, this isn't a divorce. This is just you not earning very much money. But there are no big payouts on the horizon, no ads. There haven't been any ad offers for, for a long time. Short of Pat dropping down dead, there's really nothing I can offer you in terms of payouts. You're just going to have to knuckle down if you want to pay your bills. Short of Pat dropping down dead? Yeah, do you not remember this? It's a formality we sorted out after Series 7. You know when Pat ate the fagu the night before filming and nearly died? I wasn't really paying much attention to the business decisions around Series 7. I remember. Well, the fear was that if one of you did suddenly drop down dead, you know, unexpectedly, then it would result in severe loss of earnings for the other. Well, now that the presenting work's dried up, the loss of earnings is, you know, doesn't really apply, but... So if Pat dies? you get a cash payout. Greg, how's it going? Did you just try and throw a brick on my head? No. Why? Well, um, a brick just fell right down, right by where I was standing, and when I looked up, you were right there. Oh, that's funny. I don't remember that. About 20 seconds ago? I, I, I don't ask you personal questions, Greg. Right. Dozed off. What's the tub of cold water for? It was boiling hot when I put it up there. You were trying to scald me to death. If I was going to try and kill you, I'd come up with a much better method than balancing a tub of boiling hot water over your front door, wouldn't I? You're trying to kill me. Oh my god, Patrick is a very peculiar chap. He's worked out the same insurance scam. And he's trying to get rid of me. Rub one out. <laughs> you... I think you mean rub you out. Anyway, do, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to phone him? No, I want you to help me kill him. I'm your agent. I'm not going to help you organise an assassination. What if I gave you a commission on the insurance payout? 15%? 20. Was it hard to get hold of? Not until my husband takes it every morning. Finn's his blood. It's, it's very unwell. <laughs> 
Rat poison's good for blood pressure. Extremely. Put a job lot in there though, so it won't last till lunchtime, I hope not anyway. Actually, we should probably test it, make sure it's fatal. You want me to test it to see if it's fatal? Not the whole lot, obviously, but you know, have a sip. Check it makes you feel sick. I think we'll just cross our fingers. Um, how are we going to make it look like an accident? I don't know, we'll just say, I, I think some rat poison got in there, s somehow. Which one's, um, poison? Morning! Hi, hi. Got you a lilt. I know you like lilt. Is there um, any rat poison in it? No. Is there rat poison in my coffee? No, no. No, <laughs> no. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. So, what are we meeting about? Greg is a bit concerned that you're trying to kill him. <laughs> Rubbish. Where'd you get that idea from? Well, he said you tried to drop a brick on his head and then you tried to drop some boiling water on his head. I'm the funny one of the double act, aren't I? Always have been. It's not completely out of character for me to try something like that. I mean, sometimes it's hard to know where life ends and the act begins. Life is the pursuit and accumulation of experiences, isn't it? And what is creativity if not the communication and translation and transference of one inexpressible idea to another. Moments of silliness and fun need not be confined to a stage or a screen. A couple of near-the-knuckle pranks do not a murderer make. So they were pranked? Yes. Cyanide in your lilt. That's a prank as well. <laughs> Creativity. I thought the brick and the water were just pranks. Yeah, well, I had to tell Anna that, didn't I? She stopped getting me solo work if she knew I was trying to kill you. Anna's getting you solo work? Yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, it's going to involve building me up from the bottom, you know? She's got me this uh, day job where I uh, dress up as a chicken and uh, hand out flyers. Look, it's not worth all this, is it? What? All the bad blood, all the little resentments. We can work things out. We can get things back on track again. Trying to kill your best mate for an insurance payout. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Insurance payout? Yeah, the insurance payout that we get if one of us dies. That's why you're trying to kill me, isn't it? Hello. Hi, Anna, it's Patrick. Patrick, where the hell are you? I was just calling to ask if you'd heard back from the insurance people at all. I've been doing my best to negotiate, but they're treating the whole thing as highly suspicious, given that the claimant's fingerprints and belongings were both at the scene. Well, never mind. Have you thought about turning yourself in? Why would I do that? To be honest, the publicity on this is massive. Oh, you've been all over the BBC. You've been trending for a week. The phone's been ringing off the hook. I think you're looking at, what, 10, 10 to 12 years? But if we can, you know, keep your online presence up until then, maybe have a word with the prison warden about vlogging, and when you come out, you're going to be set for work. I mean, you're a hit. I'm not ready to be put away just yet. I mean, you're going to get caught eventually. You're hardly anonymous. Oh, don't worry about that. I've got an excellent disguise. <laughs> 